Hi, I'm Oren Charm. I'm the Automation Product Manager at Geffen. And I'm talking about our new uh, control products, the uh, Geffen Gava Audio Video Automation Control, and the Packs and Mini Packs, which are our gateway products to support uh, infrared RS-232 and contact control. One of the key points was just to provide a Geffen solution uh, because I think many years ago people would buy a Crestron product or an AMX product and they'd control a Geffen switcher and it was a good symbiosis between the control manufacturers and Geffen which is providing the, the technology to actually do the switching. Now that we've seen a lot of the control manufacturers getting into the switching business, uh, I think Geffen had to re respond by producing a control product um, so that our dealers had an end-to-end -end solution, so that we weren't relying on uh, trying to put together pieces from different manufacturers to, uh, to create an overall solution. So that was, I think the first driver was uh, to create uh, a Geffen branded product, um, specifically the Control Geffen product. Um, and then it's kind of branched out from there. I think uh, Hagai has had an interest in home automation. He has two Crestron systems already and has experienced both good and bad uh, with the Crestron product. I think for Hagai the most frustrating thing was that every time he got a new device he had to call the Crestron programmer and pay him mm -hmm. seven or eight hundred dollars to come in and create a new user interface and it was uh, time consuming and expensive and he really wanted a solution that uh, would make that easy. Um, so I think that was one of the one of the driving forces behind it. Also, uh, unlike some of the other manufacturers, uh, Geffen primarily sells through distribution which means we needed, uh, we needed a product that fit our channel, which is typically uh, distribution houses where an installer would come in and buy a bunch of products and take them out to a job site and install them. So we really wanted a solution that you could take off the shelf and go out and install in a reasonable amount of time compared to installing a switcher and not have to uh, go back and do a set of drawings and do a technical evaluation and prepare programming and, and the whole complex process that's involved. So we're trying to fit that market and uh, finally I think with a lot of the products on the market uh, they're based on old technology, they're based on most of the remote control products are based on infrared control which is one-way control. It doesn't have feedback, it doesn't support any content management um, and it's very frustrating for the user when things don't go exactly the way the system expects. So we want to take advantage of the latest technology, the latest IP technology, and be able to provide uh, a two-way experience where um, both content would come back to the user and feedback would come mm -hmm. back to the user so you really knew that the system was doing what you intended it to do and not something mm -hmm. else. I've had a lot of experience uh, you know, with those products myself where, you know, somebody turns the TV on and then you come in and you hit the watch movie uh, preset and it uh, turns on the Blu-ray player, puts it in play mode, turns on the amplifier, puts it in Blu-ray mode and turns off the TV because it was on already and it didn't know the difference. So, um, and the net result is that the customer hits the button and nothing happens. And so we wanted a, solu a solution that didn't create those kind of frustrations on the part of the customer. I mean, I've been in the home automation control business for about 35 years. I started at the, the very beginning and witnessed the frustrations. Uh, in the old days, home automation was like taking apart somebody's turntable and soldering wires to it so you could mm -hmm. control it remotely. Uh, the equipment was very primitive and the biggest challenge was that um, you had to make things work together that weren't intended to work together. And now we're in this new digital age where everything is information and everything travels freely and the biggest challenge is making things that weren't intended to work together to work together. So the process has changed dramatically and the frustrations haven't really changed much at all. It's still um, a frustrating process. It's just that now you're sitting at the keyboard typing code instead of 
under a cabinet with a soldering iron trying to, to get the wires to work. So, uh, but it's all along the goal has been to make the process seamless and I think uh, we, we've come a long way in doing that with, uh, with Gava. I think the major characteristic is the ease of installation. We took a, we started with a product that was uh, very powerful. Uh, probably just as powerful as uh, Crestron or AMX controller um, and we set about creating a wizard that would basically take simple information from the customer and put together uh, a control interface that the customer would understand rather than having to write a custom program every time. Um, we also simplified it by integrating content and control so you can now not only select your iTunes, but you can also select a playlist and you can see what you're listening to. It's not just a one way, you know, hit the button and something happens, but you're really getting, getting feedback. Um, and finally, we were aiming at markets where Geffen is already strong and channels where Geffen is already strong, uh, not trying to take over the market from Crestron and AMX, but to, to find markets where, uh, where they're not necessarily uh, a major player, or maybe not even aware, where Geffen already has uh, a lot of influence in that field. And we have dealers, they're looking for a solution, and we want to provide them with a Geffen solution. And the big challenge for us was to wrap software so it became hardware. Um, because we're not a software company. When we first looked at software models, um, how do you distribute a software license through distribution? It became very difficult to control. Um, you know, if, they, if someone downloads software from the Geffen website, how does Geffen distribution play a part in that? And you know, how do you license it? Geffen's not used to licensing things. They're used to selling a box, and you know, once you have the box, it's yours. Um, so we tried to implement a similar strategy with Gava, where all of the software and all the software licensing is contained within the box. So you go to the store, you buy the Gava, open the box, plug it in, and uh, you have the software, you have the licenses, you don't have to buy anything, you don't have to download anything. Um, it's all self-contained within the box. And, also, uh, another side to that is a lot of, uh, we wanted to use the iPhone, iPad, Android, tablet type of interface because that's really what a lot of people are familiar with. It's very cost effective. Um, it, it's hard to sell another $2,000 custom touch panel against a $500 you know, Apple iPad that people are already familiar with. Um, and. You know, one approach, obviously, and what some people have done is they've created an app for the iPad that you basically download the app, and the app sends information directly to the devices. And we felt that that wasn't really suitable, uh, A, because you have to keep the app up to date and, and make sure the software keeps up with the new developments from Apple. And also, if you're in a multi-user, multi-room situation and you, you're running off an iPad, if you have three iPads, uh, how do they stay in sync if they're all operating independently? So we went to a server architecture uh, using HTML5, which is the latest version of HTML that offers a lot of integration um, of content and control and actually makes the system look like it were running natively on the iPad or iPhone even though it's getting all of its information from the server. And that's something that probably wouldn't have been feasible a few years ago when uh, we were dealing with much slower networks and you had latency issues involved in trying to uh, serve all the data at once, but now that's not a problem these days. So we're able to create a very seamless interface where multiple users can be in sync or they can be controlling completely different things as part of the same system all at the same time. And the system handles that very uh, transparently. 15 minutes you can you can set up a system. It's, it is hard to explain and I'm not looking forward to writing the manual because we're going to have to take a very intuitive process and, <laughs> and turn it into an explanation for people that aren't looking at the, at the system.